guys, it's Risa. How are you? Welcome to my kitchen. I love lasagna. If you love lasagna, put up your hand. Lasagna has always been one of my all time favorite meals. It's comfort food, right? The only thing I never liked about it was all the calories, high fat, because you know, what's lasagna without cheese, right? <laughs> However, I'm going to teach you a healthy version. I'm going to tell you just a quick funny story because, you know, sharing is caring. Um, years ago, many years ago, 30 years ago, when I first met my husband, um, Brian, my brother invited us for dinner. In fact, it was just after we got engaged and he decided to make a lasagna with five cheeses. He forgot that my husband doesn't eat melted cheese. In fact, he doesn't really like cheese. Listen, not everybody does. There's no accounting for taste. I'm a cheese lover. So we get to his house and he serves the lasagna up and he gives my uh, Brian, my fiance at the time, a huge piece. Well, I thought he was going to just die. <laughs> Anyways, I had to tell my brother in the kitchen, he doesn't eat cheese and he forgot so he went into the freezer and made him chicken wings i had to share that story it was just a classic and we actually shared that story at my wedding all right so all my recipes are written under each video the ingredients the directions i'm going to show you what i've done so far i call this a deconstructed lasagna you can make individual portions or you can make large portions it's all what you like I love leftovers, so I like to make a lot. I'm making a lot today because I'm bringing this to my sisters. Um, sharing is caring, right? So let's get started. All right, so what have I done so far? I take a large frying pan, and basically I always take a Vidalia onion or a regular onion. You don't like onion, you don't have to use onion. And I've taken zucchini, and I'm just gonna show you, I had leftover little cherry tomatoes, actually grape tomatoes, and I threw those in. And I put in yellow peppers and um, orange peppers and, you know, honestly, whatever you like, mushrooms, of course, but some people don't like mushrooms. After it's all sauteed, and I like to use just some um, olive oil spray or whatever spray you want. If you want to use a little bit of olive oil, you can do that too. A tablespoon is mostly depending on the nutritional value, three smart points. At the end, I like to add about a cup of, of spinach. Now, if you're making a large portion, I would use about three or four cups worth of veggies. All right. Um, and for an individual portion, about a cup or so, because then it's more filling and satisfying. The other thing that I've done so far is I love turkey or chicken meat. I use the Maple Leaf Prime. I buy it at Walmart too for $12. You can see the little tag here. And um, all I've done is I've just cooked it up and then I'm gonna add the spices so then you can see what I use. Now, if you don't like ground turkey or chicken, another option is leftover chicken, or I buy these chicken spears at Costco. You could add those. I buy this rotisserie chicken breast strips at Walmart. You can add that, or you could use some nothing. You can keep it just vegetarian. All right, um, for you vegans, you can use a different kind of cheese than I use. So it, like I said, it's versatile. You wanna put a little tofu, you wanna use some shrimp in it. You can do what you like, all right? That's the beauty of recipes. The other thing that I've cooked up is some pasta. Um, unfortunately, I took the, the top off, but it's fiber gourmet. What I love about this pasta is it's 130 calories, three smart points on WW, um, and it has um, 19 grams of fiber, 23 grams of carbs. Now I'm not a carb counter, but um, it has, uh, let's see, 
standard pasta, they compared it, um, has 210 calories, only two grams of fiber and 41 grams of carbs. So this has no fat, no sugar, and it is super delicious and it comes in different um, type. So this is rotini. They have penne, they have elbow, they have spaghetti. So you can use what you like. I get it at the low carb grocery store and I'm not sure you can check your grocery stores, but again, use whatever pasta you like. All right. It's what versatile. So I've cooked that up and I'm using three cups. So that's nine smart points. The other thing that I love is, now I have a marinara that you can check out on my channel, or you can, um, I don't like to say cheat, but if you're in a hurry, one of my favorites is the Rayo sauce that I buy in different stores. You can check it out, Rayos. Lots of famous people use Rayos. And I also like the white linen from Costco. Okay, this is delicious as well. Both of them for a half a cup is three smart points. So I'm going to use probably about a cup, a cup and a half. Again, it's versatile depending on how much you're making. Okay. So um, the other thing is cheese. I like Saputo light mozzarella cheese. Now because I'm going to um, bring this to my sister. I've already shredded it up. And so again, if you are um, using a big amount, you account for that. For this, it's um, three smart points for uh, 30 grams. Okay, so yes, for 30 grams is three smart points or you can use other low fat cheeses like the Zerto. I have Romano or Parmesan. For six tablespoons, it's only four smart points. You use two tablespoons, it's only two, obviously. I can do some math. So again, depending on what you use, you're gonna divide it up proportion, okay? And um, usually when I have one serving, I use a cup of pasta and I use a cup of sauce. So that's already six smart points. And then I usually use about 20 grams of cheese. So that's two smart points. So about eight. And if I use some Zerto, um, nine. Um, but usually eight to nine smart points, which I think is great for a dinner serving, okay? With tons of vegetables in it and low fat pasta. All right, so. Um, I have my chicken meat. I'm just going to turn the camera a little bit over so you can see. And I'm just going to sprinkle in some, a little bit of oregano, about a quarter of a teaspoon. Just sprinkle some garlic powder, about a quarter of a teaspoon, maybe not. Just a little bit. I like a little bit of low sodium soy sauce. Um, again, I just sprinkle in not even a quarter of a teaspoon. I have a little bit of onion flavor, flavor powder, not flavor, powder, and I'm going to put a pinch of that in. Um, not, I, I would say even an eighth of a teaspoon, okay? I have some chili powder. I'm going to add that for some flavor. Um, a sprinkle of pepper and about a quarter teaspoon of some Worcestershire and I'm going to mix that up, okay? And I'm going to mix up my vegetables now. And what I do, I like to add the spinach at the end because then it won't just wilt up, okay? It will get soft now because I've turned on the oven. And I'm just going to mix that around. It looks so colorful. We eat with our eyes. And I have a little bit of Himalayan salt. I'll just add a little bit of that. So I'm gonna just add in my turkey meat. And just mix it up. How does that look? Nice, huh? Delish. 
I would actually taste it, but I'm on intermittent fasting. So I'm not allowed to eat till noon. I'm not telling you guys to do that, but it's working for me. I needed to shake things up a little bit because I'm a nusher. I like to eat at night. So I haven't been snacking. Today is day six. I'm so excited. All right, let's move on. I'm going to add my three cups of pasta. And this makes so much. Right now, this is only nine smart points. And you're going to get... You're going to get so many portions from this, okay? Um, I just wanted to also mention that if you are serving it to guests, you can put it in a casserole dish, put it all really nice, and I'll show you. And then if you wanted to just put a little bit of this part in first um, with the sauce, of course, and then layer it with some cheese, just account again for how much you're putting in. Everyone is going to be different, okay? All right, I'm going to move the turkey meat out of the way. And now I'm going to use the Rayos for this one. And we're going to see, I'm going to use, oops, half a cup. One, two, I'd say a cup and a half. So that's nine smart points. And then just mix it up. Now, if you like tons of sauce, add more sauce. You know, remember a recipe is only a recipe for one person. You can do what you like, all right? That's what I love about recipes. Make it how you want. You like lots more vegetables. You like less vegetables. You like less pasta. You want more pasta. You want different um, seasonings that you wanna add. You do what you like. So I'm just going to keep it like this and just mix it and incorporate everything. Okay. And I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Isn't that yummy? And so you can put it into a big casserole dish. You could layer it with some sauce first and then put it in, add some cheese, um, sprinkle in some Parmesan. You knew I had to drop something, right? <laughs> Anyways, okay. So you can add it to a casserole dish or you can just, when you're doing an individual portion, off and just scoop out. I usually eat about a cup-ish. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put it in here and have it with a nice salad, okay, um, or just some grilled vegetables, steamed vegetables. And that's another thing. If you want to um, add grilled vegetables, that would be delicious to any vegetable that you love, okay? It's versatile. It's my favorite word, I know. And then if you're just doing an individual portion, you can just take your cheese and put it on top. And then what I do is I put it in the microwave. And then the cheese melts. Sometimes I use the zerto, sometimes I use both the mozzarella and the zerto. Sometimes I layer it. And if you're having guests over, you can just put it in the oven, all right? And um, just until it melts and gets hotter. But if you've already pan fried it, everything should be hot unless you do it in advance. And that's a be the beauty of it too. You can have it all prepared in advance. It's not melted yet. I love the gooiness of lasagna, all right? All that cheese. And you don't need a lot of cheese because honestly, 
there's so much flavor in all of this and the the mozzarella or the parmesan or romano or whatever asiego you can use whatever kind you want is super super yummy okay so i'm just going to show you how this looks okay and uh oh and it smells so good and you get even for 20 grams 30 grams of cheese it gets cheesy okay and that's what we want we love comfort food that is low fat high protein and delicious okay so i hope you love this recipe and you continue to subscribe ring the bell option so you get all my new videos by email and uh, for any of my other videos that i've made there'll be links and uh Again, love you guys. Take care. Um, my Weight Watchers group, Weight Watchers Tips and Recipes by Risa, Risa's Piece 8 on Instagram. You can find me and uh, please tell everybody, okay? Take care. Love you. Mwah. Bye for now.